Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I met somebody at the APA show in Las Vegas, and they, the young lady had a question about putting these QR codes, and for the one I'm doing it for, I, I now see you have them on the second page. So I just made copies, they're all the same. And writing a macro for this isn't gonna save enough time to worry about it, because this is gonna be a two stroke, uh, and all you can do is make it a one stroke. So I'm gonna select the QR code, hold down the shifts and select that, and I'm gonna go CE. I'm gonna select that, hold down the shift, select your box, CE, or even EC, it doesn't matter. You, but you need to select that one first. Now, the only way to make a macro would be able to uh, do that, but you'd have to have them both selected because a macro really works if you had to do it one time in the exact item, but you're selecting different items. So we could select that item and go way over here and go CE, and that's aligning them. I would be more concerned now that one, the box isn't big enough to put the, the code in, so we need to make a macro maybe to get rid of that box, and maybe I'll make a macro for that in part two. Now, the other thing is on page two, if we bring these in, maybe you've made them to the right size, I'm gonna put them on page two or page one now. Yeah, they look like they're the closer to the size. So evidently you were you figured out a way to bring these codes in because I was looking at them and every one of them is different. Now it would be neat to take them right from Excel and put them in there, but I can't really think of a way to do that. So that'll save you, you know, a little bit of time Instead of trying to drag that over, just take that code, hold down the shift, put it there, and I'm gonna go CE that time. Select that, shift select that, EC the next time. It doesn't matter which order you put it in. Anyway, hope that helped just a little bit, and thank you for watching.